race eight here is your grade one Woody Stevens. It is uh, going to be ran at seven furlongs on the dirt. 342 is your estimated post time. Again, not go through every horse. There's a bunch of horses in this race, but I'm going to highlight a couple that I like. I have tossed the one despite uh, being undefeated. Three-year-old horse only has three starts, but none of them are on dirt. Just think for the first time on dirt. Uh, there's a couple of horses I like better. So I'm tossing the one, two, gun pilot, 20 to one on the morning line. I think it's too high. Uh, Steve Asmussen, uh, Tyler gaffley again, are your connections. As I stated, I think 20 to one is, is too high, but I don't know if this Colt can compete with some of the other horses in this race. You'll see here, uh, he did run against several horses in this race at the Pat Day Mile uh, back at Churchill Downs just a few weeks ago and finished fifth. Three horse Arabian Lions, Bob Baffert horse, Johnny B gets the mount. He's been running at uh, further distances here. You'll see uh, he's cutting back. Uh, he has ran at seven furlong before when he, uh, after he broke his maiden. Uh, that was November of last year. Really good speed numbers though. Last couple times out, 117, 121. We'll have to see how this. Uh, Cut back in distance, treats three horse. Uh, the four, General Jim, uh, Shug McGahee, Louis Saez, 119 last time out. Got a win at the Pat Day Mile, beat some very good horses, including a couple in this field. I think General Jim is certainly live, just a little bit turned back in distance. Pat Day Mile, eight furlongs, is being ran at seven, so not a whole lot uh, difference in distance. Um, General Jim is a closer, so he can certainly compete. Uh, I've already tossed the five. I've tossed the six. Uh, the seven was interesting to me. Lightly raced horse for a three-year-old. Uh, this is going to be by far the stiffest competition he's faced yet. He broke his maiden at Oakland Park in April. $110,000 uh, maiden race. Six, six furlongs. Ran a 113 speed figure. Uh, came back. Followed it up at Churchill Downs in a $127,000 allowance race. Six and a half furlongs. Uh, won that one as well. So you see, it's around 113, 116. If he keeps improving on that, he certainly could compete in this race. Uh, Flavion Pratt gets the mount, uh, just as he did a few weeks ago. So uh, the 7, 8 to 1, very interesting selection. Uh, very lightly raced. Uh, it's one I'm keeping my eye on. Uh, the 8, Fort Bragg, of Bob Baffert, Joel Rosario horse. Uh, you can see, uh, he was briefly tra trained by Tim Yakteen when they were trying to get. Uh, this horse into the uh, Kentucky Derby, came up short in the Florida Derby, finishing fifth to Forte and uh, Mage, finished second at the Pat Day Mile uh, a few weeks ago to General Jim, but he ran a 121 speed figure, which is a really good number. Uh, I don't dislike the eight. Uh, he's uh, dialing back just a little bit in distance, uh, which I think could be good for him. Uh, you'll see at the Pat Day Mile, he was leading at the uh, quarter pole. Excuse me. He was leading um, at three quarters pole and just got necked at the, at the wire. So uh, Fort Bragg is a horse that I'm interested in. I've already tossed the nine. I've tossed the 10. 11 victory formation. Brad Cox, Florent Giroux, a little bit turn back in distance. Hasn't won since in, in his last two starts. He has three wins before that including his first two at a similar distance. So that's a horse I'm looking at. Uh, the 12 Gilmore I've, I've tossed, um, despite Iran Ortiz being on board. Just didn't, I just don't think this horse has quite the speed and numbers to, to compete. Uh, has, has finished behind several horses in this race. 13 drew my attention. 8 to 1 in the morning line. He is unbeaten. Won four in a row. Uh, ran a 123 speed number last time out. This is going to be by far the stiffest competition he's faced. He's, his best race was his last race at a $150,000 stakes race, but it was here at Belmont Park, and it was at six furlongs. Uh, so Drew's goal, lightly raced, undefeated. He's steadily improving on his speed numbers, including 123 last time out. So uh, if we go back to the top of this race, I'm actually looking at the 13, putting 13 Drew's goal on top. Also like... Uh, the seven, eight, and four. Uh, the four was General Jim. The seven talked about was Federal Judge, and the eight was Fort Bragg. So I'm going to be using some sort of combination of those in exotics, uh, you know, 
Zactus, Trifectus, um, probably even play a Superfecta with some combination or uh, every combination of those, those four horses. There's enough horses in this race at good enough numbers. I think we should uh, get a pretty good price. So that's race eight. Let's